Are you the one they sent to aid our cause? Go right on through. This passage will take you to the Sanctuary. Major Serenway is waiting with further orders. We'll hold this side of the passage to ensure no trouble comes from behind. The hour of our glory is nigh. Razumdar forewarned me of your coming, and I have considered our circumstances carefully in light of that. I have the utmost faith in your capabilities, and I am confident that your arrival is an augur of our victory. Indeed. We have fought alongside many of the same soldiers, and word travels quickly when it involves heroics such as those attributed to you. I have anticipated the chance to meet you in person, and I am pleased the opportunity has finally arrived. This, my friend, is the calm before the storm. Our storm. The Malma believe that holding hostages will prevent us from taking action, but we will not allow such cowardice to determine our course. We will act, and we will act decisively. We charge into their encampment, rescue the hostages, and slaughter their commanders. This full scout we captured gave us their locations. You and Razumdar shall spearhead our attack, one of you to handle the hostages, the other on the commanders. More brave soldiers arrive soon from Marbrook. We will rally them here and prepare to launch a full-scale attack. When your task is done, light the beacon in the lighthouse. That will be our signal to charge in and drive the bastards back to the sea. Olmian, Meiratel, and Bashira, all very influential in their own way. We need to ensure they're freed before we launch a full-scale attack. Husband of the Tree Thane of Woodhearth, Fariel. As good a fighter and tracker as any wood elf I've known. Just shows how Paladel caught even the best of us off guard. A respected noble from Somerset. She was on her way to Eldenroot to meet with the Thelmor. You might imagine the problems it would cause if something happened to her. Around here, they call him the Fat Cat. Wealthiest merchant in Woodhearth. But don't think his influence is limited to the city. Money moves, you know. More brave soldiers arrive soon from Marbrook. We will rally them here and prepare to launch a full-scale attack. When your task is done, light the beacon in the lighthouse. That will be our signal to charge in and drive the bastards back to the sea. The Maoma fight as a unit. Like a crew loyal to their ship's captain, the Maoma will follow the commander's orders without hesitance. Remove the commander and they will fall into disarray, at least long enough for our strike to overwhelm them. He's a prisoner of war, so he'll be treated accordingly, of course. Unless he tries to escape, in which case we'll bury him neck deep on the beach at low tide and let the sea decide his fate. Time to do what we do best, yes? This should be fun. Excellent. Many opportunities for heroism, adventure, and thrilling tales after the fact. So, my friend, what will it be? Will you tend to the hostages, or take out their commanders? Ha! Dirty hands for dirty work. Raz will see to our captive friends, then. Stay out of sight if you can, or grab Larnil's armor. It's not fashionable, but you'll at least blend in. Always. Raz will see you at the lighthouse when our tasks are completed. Bright moons guide your steps. You mean there's not gonna be a hostage exchange? Dirt-eating liars! We'll kill you all and feed your remains to the seagulls! Little elf thought he could get away from Ablan. He was wrong. 
With you here, maybe I don't need to worry so much about getting my ship back from these cursed sea elves. Peladil will pay for what they did to Astro. They will all pay. I never thanked you for helping us back in Woodhuff. Astro was my friend. And because of you, we can catch the ones that did this to her. Well met, Queen's Eye. Grim work to be done here, and we're glad to have you with us.
God's mercy. What's going on? Why don't you just kill me? To let me linger like this? It's wrong. Wait, you're not one of them, are you? Where in oblivion am I? Who... Who are you? Vice Reeve Peladil, that monstrous bastard. He captured us in Woodhearth and brought us here for some evil ritual. He bled us, mutilated us. He ripped out our eyes. Gods, do I even look normal anymore? No, I'm not all right. I'm dying. And it's just as well. It was that bitch, Asteril's sister. She pretended to be Asteril and ordered us into the Imperial Underground. Then the Veiled Heritants ambushed us. They needed sacrifices for the ritual. They were raising Prince Naaman from the dead, bringing him back and imbuing him with some terrible power. Peladil kept talking about how the prince would lead an undead army. But I don't think it worked out the way he hoped. When Naaman came back, he wasn't... the same. Sounded like some evil spirit was speaking through him. He spat in Peladil's face. Then he just left. Peladil was furious. He stormed out a little later. That's all I was able to hear. No, no, no. My eyes are gone. I'm probably scarred all over my body. Please. I just want to die. All I ask, just make them pay for this. Send another score and I will smite them just the same. I could cut down sea vipers all day long. Well done, my friend. We'll have the sanctuary back under control quickly now, but we can't stop here. The battle's only just begun. So I had hoped. But it seems Vice Reef Paladel has taken to sea even before we arrived. 
I suspect he may attempt to flee when he realizes his forces have lost the shore. That's why you must go after him. You must ensure Peladil does not escape. Captain Jimela and her crew have retaken the Prowler and she says the ship's fit for action. They're ready to set sail as soon as you get on board. May the winds be at your back, my friend, and may Peladil fall quickly to your strength. There you are. Impressive work back there. The Maurmer didn't know what hit them when our forces stormed in, and I've got my ship back. Of course. The Prowler's been sitting at dock too long. She's ready to pounce on that bastard Peladil as soon as we catch him. And catch him soon we will. You have the captain's word on it. Good. The sooner we're underway, the sooner we can catch Peladil. Raise anchor! The battle's on! Hurry! They need you topside!
We'll use them to launch an attack. will be my thing. Naaman has the staff of Magnus. Nothing you can do will stop <laughs> The Serpent Slayer! You saved the day! You made it. I was beginning to have my doubts, but I trust that the Viceroy will no longer be a threat? Then this is cause for celebration. Let us return to the shore and share the good news with Major Sirenwe. Are you ready to return? By Joan and Jod, I wasn't sure we'd make it out of that one, but you never cease to impress. Things are always exciting when you're around, it seems. No, I will stay aboard the Prowler. I miss her greatly when we are apart. So I will celebrate our victory here on deck with my crew and several bottles of moon sugar double rum. You go on. Savor this victory. You certainly earned it. The Queen must be told of our victory here today. Tales of today's battle will undoubtedly be told for generations. When soldiers of the Old Marie Dominion face impossible odds, they will not retreat. They will say, remember the Battle of Seaside Sanctuary, and they will press on to victory. Let us hope. If they do rear their ugly heads again, we will smite them once more. There remains one very serious concern, however. The soldiers we captured say the Viceroy have conducted a ritual to raise Prince Naaman from the dead. We have conflicting reports on that concern, but Razumdar is investigating. Regardless, your first priority is to inform the Queen of our victory and this unfortunate news about her brother. Give her this letter. It contains all the details.
mess with a street kid. A bit tight on the shoulders, maybe. Welcome to Ndawe's Museum of Wonder and Antiquities. Normally, I tell you to avoid touching anything, lest you defile my sanctum. But the necromancers that came in before you have already ruined everything. They are dreadful people. From the worm cult, I believe. They destroyed numerous priceless artifacts, ruined decor, killed my employees, then turned my employees into their employees by raising them as undead! I suspect they want to raise the centerpiece of my collection, the alien warlord Karen. People come here just to see him. Karen worshipped Daedra and was generally an unpleasant fellow. Excellent as a museum attraction, terrifying as an undead. You have my thanks, stranger, truly. It's paramount that the alien warlord is not raised. I need you to check his body and, if he has returned, deal with him. Of course, apologies. I'm a bit distracted at the moment. My name is Endarwe. I'm a student of history, an avid collector, and the leader of the Marithic Society. We're a loose group of adventurers who specialize in acquiring antiquities. We'll go anywhere, do almost anything, to collect history. Some governments are not so keen on the work we do, so we tend to uh, operate as inconspicuously as possible. This is one of the necromancers. He made two mistakes. He had roughly the same height and build as myself, and he turned his back to me. If I can get the blood out, his clothes will make a fantastic disguise. What a rotten day. The entire Marethic Society collection is stored in these ruins, and the Worm Cult gets to have their way with it all. Every piece the Marethic Society admits into our compilation must have aesthetic or historic significance, and elevate the prestige of the collection as a whole. 
We leave the archaeologists in the Mages Guild to fawn over pot shards and jewelry. We're collectors of lost relics. Some items we trade for on the black market, others we procure directly from ruins. We take our name from the Marithic Era, the legendary age between the creation of Nern and the start of the First Era. You bastards! Are you a minion of the Worm Cult? I beg you to stop this. You fools are destroying history with every artifact you desecrate. Thank the moons. We hid our most valuable items before the Worm Cult arrived. But there's no one to retrieve them. Won't be long before they burn this temple down around us. Please, if you can find the artifacts, take them to Orthuna, our handler. Good. This map marks where we've hidden them. Recover the relics and get them to Orthuna, who will know what to do with them. She should be at the entrance to this ruin. No matter how many of us perish when this day is over, our work must continue.
Rise, blast you. Why won't you rise? This spell should work on an Aeliad. Am I? Need to find some higher ground. This, this can't be right. Who are you? You weren't on the excavation team. I am not trying to look like an alien warlord. Wait, I'm Nanwen, a digger. Indawe hired me to excavate Rulanyil's fall, and I was digging out some rooms. There was a cave-in. I'm dead, aren't I? I was afraid of that. There was a cave-in, and the next thing I know, I'm on a slab with a necromancer chanting over me. She didn't seem to notice, so I laid still and hoped she'd go away. She stayed for quite a long time. I don't understand. We were looking for an alien warlord to put in Indawe's historical collection, but we never found one. Please, take me to Indawe.
What's that in your hands there? Seems you've been busy. Let's see what you have here. Ah, very good. I'm glad these survived. You and Dulini have done Tamriel a great service by returning these to us. We'll rebuild the collection. You've done the society, and by association, all of Tamriel a great favor. Yes? Aiden Dureni was an Altmer folk hero. According to history, he led the Dureni clan of High Rock against the Alessian Order of Cyrodiil. He appears in myths as the last king of a heroic line, a champion in the fight of Myrrh against men. Mansal Sesnet ruled Yokuda centuries before the Red Guard came to Tamriel. His governance was brief but eventful, laying much of the structural groundwork later Red Guard rulers would utilize. The Lost Fleet, or the All Flags Fleet, was an armada sent by the Kolovian Emperor Bendu Olo to eliminate the invading Slode. The Slode were defeated, but much of the fleet vanished without a trace. Save this compass. By the Empyrean Light, the Worm Cult brought his spirit back, didn't they? And you led him here. It's my disguise. Just a way to blend into their ranks before I make my escape. Of course you found none when. What did you think you would find? An alien warlord's body intact? I looked for years and never found one. But my museum collection needed a centerpiece and none when was crushed in a cave-in, so I <laughs> dressed him up. I realized that if the Worm Cult managed to raise Narwen, my secret would be known. Which is why I sent you to stop them, for what good that did me. I hope I can trust you to keep your mouth shut. Did I hear that correctly? You passed me off as an alien warlord? Don't worry, I paid your family for the body. You paid my... How long were you going to let people think I was a famous dead person? You aren't getting any less dead, so somewhere around forever, I think. Look at it this way. Now you're dead and famous. You mean you're going to keep doing this? Every day? Oh, yes. I'll have to hire a security staff, I think. We don't want any more surprise necromancers. Now go back to your body. I'll figure out what to do with you later. This is worse than Oblivion. Stay vigilant. Packed soldiers... Hold! In the name of the Dominion! The road is perilous. Ebonheart packed warriors have been harrying travelers, cutting down our soldiers. We ambushed the ambushers and put them to flight, but one of our own was among them. A traitor by the name of Aldolan. I mean to find him. Do just that. The Dominion can't afford mercy for traitors. Justice must be served, and swiftly. He cannot be far from here. There's a reward out for his head. Find him before I do, and there'll be coin in it for you. I need healing.
You look as though you have seen battle, friend. Tell me, did you find Aldolan? You've done the Dominion a great service. No doubt he was feeding the Pact information about our troop movements. That's lives saved. We'll clear out any Pact dumb enough to remain in the area. Thank you. Feels good to get the blood pumping, right? Pay whatever you require. Just help me. I will give anything to get her back. Pariel, my bold, brave, beloved Pariel, my wife. The Wood Orcs captured us. They did unspeakable things. They were going to kill me. She couldn't watch me die. She killed them all, but now she's missing. Pariel broke our pact with Ifre. She called upon her scene, Master of the Hunt. He changed her. Now, by Ifre's command, I must end her before she hurts others. She fled into these caves. She knows my scent. I can't get close. She is not in her right mind, filled with rage at our treatment. Please, if she comes at you, subdue her. Don't kill her. I have no choice. What Pariel did goes against the Green Pact. She made herself into a monster, and she can never change back. I cannot let her wander unchecked or slaughter others. I owe her that. As any hunter would, look for signs in the cave. A broken stalk here, trampled ground there. Anything to show recent passage. Yes. The story is, the Bosma received their form from Ifre. It symbolizes a break from our wild nature. Pariel called upon the Master of the Hunt. She gave into her wild nature and slaughtered the orcs. She did it to save me. I don't know. The change was not instantaneous. It was wild, fast, brutal. The wood orcs were unrecognizable when she was done. But she's my wife. I can't let her suffer.
stop! Don't hurt her! Ariel, it's me! Oh, my beloved. What has happened to you? She is wounded! Did you hurt her? Subdued. Yes, I see. I'm sorry. Now, please, leave us. I left my pack at the mouth of the cave. Inside is all the gold I have, all yours. I'm sorry. I was desperate for help. Desperate enough to color the truth. Pariel did this, sacrificed herself to save me. How can Ifre ask me to kill her? I love her. I can't slaughter her like a common wolf. This is the only way we can be together. I will pray to her scene and hunt beside my wife for the rest of our days. Now please, leave us. This is between her scene and myself. Don't use my wife's sacrifice to lecture me. Someday you will love someone half as much as I love Pariel. Then you'll understand why I can't kill her. Damn it all! Why me? Why is this burden on me? Pariel. Oh, Pariel. I'm so, so sorry, but they're right. I'm so sorry. Peace, my love. It will all be over soon. Forgive me. I have done as you asked, as I knew I must. Now leave me to my grief. Please. 